All right, we are at the Walmart. And today's challenge is we had five dollars or less to spend on each other and we had to buy two items that are appropriate for creek fishing for each other to fish with. So, Jen's up first. Jen, what did you get for me? First bait. A frisky frog. Little dual tail grub action. <laughs> What's the second thing you got for me? Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh wow, that's a really good uh that's a really good crankbait you got for me. Yeah, let's see what I got you. <laughs> okay. Here's the reveal. Are they in here? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same crankbait! That's a... Uh... That's pretty cool. We picked out the same crankbait for each other. That's hilarious. All right. And the grub. Ooh. Little fly, little so, jazzies. Yeah, so you got a fly, which yeah. is similar. It's got a little grub style jig head on it. Perfect. All right, so let's hit the water. All right, here's the situation. We're at the spot, 45 minutes for the first bait, which is gonna be the my grub. For Jen, it's going to be her little fly. And the second 45 minutes is going to be for the crankbait, which apparently we bought each other the same one. So let's see what happens. All right, we're at the crossroads. You can go any direction you want. That way, that way, that way. Fishing begins in three, two, one. You should follow me. I'm going to catch all the fish. Does it count if I catch a snake? Here you go. I didn't have the camera running, but I got a small mouth. Same here, what'd you get? So did I, little baby Smalley. Let's go, let's go see Jen's. All right, Jen's got a little baby Smalley too. We doubled up almost simultaneously. See you, bud. One to one. All right, Jen and I are currently tied up. We we doubled up almost instantly. She caught one, and then I caught one. We had about 28 minutes left in this challenge. Let's bust it out. Ooh. Oh no, you ain't getting away. Oh. Small, oh, hold still, buddy. Smalley number two, and he's a small smallie. See ya. Slippery little bugger. Well, not much happening. We got three minutes left in the Oh, three minutes. Round. Jeez. We just got a couple smallies, though. You got two? I have one. You have a couple. There you go. Well, I think this is all really, really skinny water. I think we should probably shoot for down there to get a little bit of depth. Okay. Ooh, this might have something in it. Two minutes left. Ooh, there's a snake. I think I want to catch him. He's extra credit. I found extra credit for the tournament. Extra credit. Here you go. What'd you see? Snake. Gross. All right. Time is up. Time to switch to our crankbaits. I almost didn't right. get this. But... Well, for next round, me and Jen both have. Little red, little red crawl crankbaits. 
So this all just comes down to who's the better fisherman. It's gonna be me. Uh, why is the some... rain clouds coming in? It just got really dark. Well, <laughs> we got 45 minutes. Rain or shine. Rain or shine's ass. Crankbait timer starts in three, two, one. Well, it's gonna be a soggy crankbait contest. No, I'm not doing this one. Okay, that was right freaking out. Ooh, this bait is actually perfect for like just skimming above the surface. Did I say above the surface? Whoa. Nice. Man, these are like breakfast sausage sized smallies. And <laughs> it just started pouring. Look at this little nugget. Look at this little nugget. Look at this little sausage. See you, bud. Okay, so I think we both picked a good lure because this is like not hitting the bottom. And it's like just a skosh under the surface. Okay, me and Jen were just complaining that there is like nothing but little tiny fish here but something of significant size just jumped out of the water right here so that's where we're going and it didn't look like a didn't look like a carp style jump where they just like kind of come up and gulp water it looked like a like a big smallmouth kind of jump Oh wow, what does Jen have? No! A decent, oh no. That was a big one too. She got a decent sized smallie right to the bank and it jumped off. Well, I think we found the juice pool. Man. See, literally I was just casting there and Jen's back in casting the same exact lure and she got into a decent sized smallie. I think all we got to do is just cover as much ground as we can in this pool. One minute. Oh, at the buzzer. At the buzzer, he does it. Look at that. The, the tourney is over at 315. It is 314. Little smallie. And with that, sir, you have ended the tournament. And tournament over. Well, our little lightning tournament, choose each other's baits is over. That was fun. For now. Final score, four to one. I think I got three on the crankbait and one on that little goofy frog. Yes, and I got one on the fly. What did you think of your baits? Um, they were okay. I think the frog was, he was either terrible or he was just on too heavy a jig. But he didn't, he didn't deserve to be in this kind of water. He th I think that frog would work better in another place. So we'll have to give him a second try. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. What was that? There was a snake and I swear to God, it was the size of a anaconda it's probably right there on the grass no. just kidding it went in the water back up where what do you mean where matt get out who's a right there by your feet all right i'm getting out of the break room we saw three snakes today that's like extra credit that's like i ain't coming back here it was literally in the grass i wish i would have got that on gopro of you doing your snake dance Show me how that went again. My heart rate is going so fast right now. <laughs> no, I don't do snakes. I also don't do these islands with grass, and that is one reason why I don't. Well, let me walk in front of you, chase out all the snake well, friends. Clearly, you did that last time, and you didn't do anything. Chase out, it was right at my freaking feet. Now, what we should probably do is look under all the rocks. No. 
I swear to God, I looked under the rock that I just said, let me look under it and look what's there. Why? Stop it! Matt! I don't know where he went. Yeah, he's gone. He was just a little guy. He was like as big as a worm. Oh my God, that was hilarious. I was like, let's look under a rock for a snake. And literally the first rock. If there is ever a time you pick up a snake and it gets flung towards me, so help me God. It'll be the last thing you do. Oh Folks, <laughs> look at how serious her face is right now. Dead serious. I wouldn't fling a snake at you. I mean, I would you like, say that I would show I, it to you. You say that and I don't trust you. Stop it! I'm not going to pick it up and throw it at you. I just want to hold him. No, I've got to quit! Look at him. Look at how cute he is. He's a snugger. Look at his little tongue. Look at his little tongue. He's a guess. Yeah, look, now he's like this. Oh! He is mad, isn't he? Okay, let's let him down. Okay, bye, buddy. We should probably look under all the rocks. Don't come near me with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little snugger snake. F out of here. Okay, so we saw four snakes. That's like super extra credit. No. All right, how do we get out of here? Oh, all I see in front of me are just snakes. Oh, that's stinging nettle. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that stuff is. These things with the jagged leaves. Oh, that's going to itch and burn in about three seconds. Yep, already on the calves. There it goes. Oh. So, Jen just posed a really good question. What was the question? What, what am I going to do if I snag a snake while I'm fishing sometime? All right, so let's think through that. What would you do? Well, first of all, I would... I want to say most importantly, I'd probably just abandon my pole. But realistically thinking, I don't know, cut the line, let it go. I don't know, I wouldn't touch it. I sure as hell would not unhook it. Or even, no, no. But what if it just wants to snug you? No. Oh my god, I don't know what I would do. So you just cut line and abandon I'm getting, ship? I'm like, PTSD, <laughs> just thinking about Well, well what about that poor snake who's now got a hook stuck in him? Don't care. Aww. Snakes! You heard it here first, folks.